What's up guys, it's your boy Chino Carson here. We're back at it with another video. We finally got the wheel video for you guys, man. I know you guys have been waiting for this for a while. I have to. I have had to, I had to do some prepping. I uh, ceramic coated the wheels. I also had to do some adjusting on the fenders. I had to relocate the rear bumper tab. I also shaved off a little bit that was hitting on the rear bumper. So I did some adjusting. I had to do all that. I did do a little TikTok. You guys want to go look at it but um yeah we finally got the wheels ready to install they are right here we got them all the fourth one is in the trunk i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys yes i did go with the ce28 sls uh bronze colorway i originally wanted the ce20 uh ce28 and damn that's like the tongue twister ce28 ends which are a different shade of bronze they're OG bronze. These are blast bronze. This is the first time I've seen blast bronze in person. Man, I cannot complain. They look really freaking good. I wish I had the OG bronze just to compare it. But uh, yeah, these look really freaking good. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys. I'm going to take it out of the car and show you guys in the sun. So let's go ahead and do that. So here they are. Are you ready to see the new wheels for the S2000? Folks Ray CE28 SLs Blast Bronze. Here they are. Bam! Look at that shit. Fuck! They look so good. This is the first time I see them in the sun. I had them in my house and I never took them out. So this is the first time I see them in the sun. Dude, holy shit. The Blast Bronze looks so freaking good. I put the stickers. There was a third sticker that went right under the valve stem, like right here. It just it says CE 28 SL, but I thought that looked kind of weird, so I didn't put that one on. But I did put those two, Folk Racing and Ray's Engineering. Man, I don't know if the ceramic coat. I think the ceramic coat makes it a little bit darker. I think it shades it a little bit darker, not too much. I'm not too sure. This that was the first time I ceramic coated a wheel. This is the first time I've ever done it, so I don't know if I did it right. I mean, it looks pretty good, but we'll find out when I actually wash the car. I have not done a water test, but here they are, man. Check them out. Dang, they look so freaking good off the car. Now imagine when they're on the car. So there they are. They are 17 by 9 with the 44 offset. The RPF ones that I have right now are 17 by 9 with the 45 offset. These are concave phase phase 3. I, there's a couple different faces on these. If you know what I'm talking about, you know. These are phase three, just in case you wanted to know. But uh, yeah, we're just waiting on my friend right now because he's going to be driving this car because these things do not fit in the S. Not even a single wheel fits in the S. So yeah, the, the S is horrible with space. Not even one fits. So yeah, we're currently just going to shoot some TikToks in the meantime. But uh, yeah, you guys won't see any of that. You guys will see me right now as soon as my friend gets here so i stopped at the gas station real quick because one of my tires is flat so i had to go put some air on it good thing i'm already going to a tire shop so i'm gonna get it patched i'm in the s already you got my boy david there you can barely see him but we're gonna head up we got a little road trip it's about 30 minutes but i'll see you guys when we get there so we're here at the homie shop we got the wheels right here they're already taking off the tires i'm gonna end up using the same tires because the tires that i have are still pretty much brand new and i didn't want to spend Freaking tires are expensive right now, so I'm just gonna reuse the same ones. That tire did have a nail, they're patching it up out there, so yeah. Got my boy David, shout out to my boy David. I don't know if you guys remember him, but he's the one that came when they stole my fucking Civic, bro. That was like two, three years ago, yeah. So here are the tires that I had on, look at this shit. I knew I knew I had a freaking nail, that thing is massive, bro. This shit was leaking on me. I'm glad it is patchable. If it's out here, if it's around this area, it is basically fucked. But if you have a nail anywhere in between here, it's still savable. So we good. Shit, check out that S right there. Black AP12. But here's the shop that I'm at. It is the homies Eric. Ask for Eric. Tires for less than Fallbrook. I'll have the exact address right here. It's in this little intersection in front of this market right here. Come check it out. And we're back home. Well, not really. We left the shop already. We're at a little spot. I'm at a little spot where I always record. Man, this shit looks so good. I'm going to show you guys from the shaded area and from where the sun hits. Honestly, it looks better where the shaded area. 
but you guys cannot see shit through the camera. But I'm still gonna go ahead and show you guys. And I waited literally over half a year for these things to get get here. Honestly, I think it was worth the wait. This is this side of the gap. Oh fuck. I might lower it a little bit because that gap does not look good. But this is the side for the sun. Look at this side. It looks better in person on this side. But through camera, you cannot see you are a little bit. I mean, from close, you could kind of see it. But yeah, it looks so much better right here. Look, it just looks like a darker bronze. It looks like the OG bronze color, even though they're blast bronze, sadly. Like I said, I wanted the OG bronze, but man, I, I was not able to find the OG. The CE28Ns, everyone was marking marking them up like a motherfucker. So I, had, I did find a couple people that were selling the CE28Ns. But they were overpricing them by like $1,500. So, yeah, I was not about to pay that much extra for some damn wheels. Let me know in the comments if you guys like these or the RPF ones better. What do you think? You like them? Dude, I love them. Honestly, it's just really worth the wait. Honestly, my opinion, the stickers that goes with the, the red detail goes, it goes really well with the um, interior um yeah also the color goes well with the um, carbon fiber as well yeah no yeah i agree i'm so glad these stickers the little spoke stickers are red because it does complement my interior perfectly it looks so freaking good so i came to a spot where there's better shading because my car looks a lot better with shade look at this oh my goodness man so much better if you guys ever see this car in person i apologize because this car is such a catfish bro with shade it looks amazing if you guys ever see it out in the sun in person i am so sorry it looks like crap but yeah that's all i have for this video i'm freaking exhausted i've been out all day it is 7 p.m on a friday night you know what that means i'm gonna go get a pedal going i freaking need it i'm tired of this i'm tired of just driving around and doing all this shit but yeah that's all i really have to record for you guys anyway so yeah hope you guys enjoy this quick little vlog let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of the new look but until next time it's been your boy chino carson and we are out Peace.